welcome to 90% Native. I am Michelle and I garden in Northern Virginia in Zone 7A. I am going to get a quick project done before my working day. I am going to plant up some carrot, either rosio or radiata. I can't remember. I mixed up the seeds and they look exactly the same, but I'm going to plant them up in between a patch of hellebore. Hellebore is not a native plant. I do love it though for winter interest. The Carex rosia or radiata, Carex R I'll call it from here forward, is a native Carex to the Northern Virginia area. This right here is the Carex that I'm talking about. I grew them from seed in a deep cell flat. I'm always looking for new Carex species, native Carex species to plant in my landscape. I absolutely love doing a green mulch layer and I'm trying to get more and more areas covered with green mulch to keep the land, keep the earth moist and cool, and it's just all around better for the environment. This is the area that I'm gonna be putting the Carex R in. I already have some in there, as you can see, and I'm sure it'll fill in over time, but I wanna go ahead and speed up that process. garden in zone 7a in northern virginia you know it is hot as all get up right now give me a comment below and let me know if you're gardening in this hot weather like i am also you may have seen me pulling the bottom of the roots off of these carrots what i do just to give it um a really good start is i chop off these bottom ones and then i chopped off the bottom ones and then i kind of spread them out a little bit in zone 7a with about 98 percent humidity at 8 a.m <sighs> in case you didn't notice what i was doing with the older carex r plants i was picking them up a little bit they're young plants and i was just giving them a little bit of a trim just to tidy up in here a little bit and then here's the the clippings, I'm just going to put those right underneath the plant and prop the plant up a little bit so it'll actually feed the plant over time and prop it up a little bit. So you know the difference between the two plants. You can pretty much use them interchangeably. However, Carex rosia likes things a little drier than Carex radiata. So if you actually know what you're planting, unlike me, <laughs> you might be able to do right plant, right place a little bit better. But I think these guys will do fine here. I planted about 21 sedges to intermix with the hellebore. The hellebore have those big, huge leaves and the Carex R's have the really thin leaves. Additionally, the Carex is a much lighter green and the hellebores that I have there are a much darker green. So I think they will end up complementing each other nicely. So let me show you what it looks like. I'm not sure if you can see much difference now, likely with a lot of the projects I do. It'll take a while for the plants to grow and intermix and do their design thing. But this is what it looks like right now. Okay, well thank you for joining me for this quick project, getting some Carex's interplanted with hellebores to provide some texture and a difference in color. So if you like this content and wanna see more, give me a subscribe, give, me a, give this video a like. Do you like to plant Carex's in your garden? If so, comment below and let me know how you use your Carex's. I use them for ground cover and for lining beds because a lot of my beds have that naturalistic look to it and I'm really trying hard to continually find new ways to add formality to those naturalistic beds. 
So let me know what you do with your Carexes. Thank you so much for joining. See you again next time.